Hey, hello guys, welcome to Richie Keys Piano Tutorial. Okay, so this will be the very first lesson of the upcoming tutorials that I'll be doing. It's it's uh it will be a series of tutorial about passing chords. Yeah, so we are going to learn about passing chord, how to construct them and how to implement it in a song to make the song more lively and also for you as a pianist to enjoy what you're playing. But first of all, I just want to say that I'm nowhere near the top, near the top. I just um I have a lot more stuff to learn i have a long way to go but i just want to teach you guys the little that i know since we have to learn from each other and improve ourselves isn't it all right so we're just gonna learn from each other i'm gonna teach you with the little that i know yeah so let's have fun okay so the tutorials that i'll be doing uh the tutorials that i'll be doing are um dominant um uh dominant seven chords um diminished chords different type of 251 progressions, 736 progressions, and also new uh, passing chord that I'll be showing you guys um, with with uh, with a special formula. So it's going to get interesting, going to get interesting. So today's lesson will be kind of easy. Um, probably most of you all know this type of passing chords, but just to complete the whole course, I will start from, from, uh, from that very first lesson and then we build it up all right so today's lesson will be kind of easy but then yeah it's part of it okay so let's start it right here with key c okay so first of all i would say that this lesson is not really for the beginner beginner like you have to know your way around the piano you have to know how to construct a major chord you have to know how to um how to play a minor chord you have to know how to uh, you have to know your skill degree yeah, you have to know your skill degree of all the 12 different keys. Um, it's very, very important for you as a pianist to know it. Like, there is no way around it. All right. Okay. So, for example, in key C, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. And also, let me make a quick remark here. Um, I don't like saying do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Really don't like it. I always say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So, in C, there's one, two, three and then we keep going four five six and then seven one and then we keep going all right okay so um okay so today's tutorial will be about dominant seventh chord here yeah? but first of all let me say that there is a difference between um uh, major seventh chord and then dominant seventh chord all right so how do we construct a major seventh chord you you start from your uh, major chord. So this is C major chord. Then you add the seventh scale degree to it. Then you have a major seventh chord. So it's quite easy to construct if you know how to play your major chord. So this plus this gives a major seventh chord, right? And if you flatten this seven, if you flatten this seven, you have a dominant seventh chord, yeah? So uh this is a ninth chord but then yeah so this and uh when do we play this major seventh chord this is actually a chord extension whenever you have to play the one you can play it to yeah to spice things up so this is basically for chord extension yeah yeah so it's just for chord extension. What we will be using today is a dominant seventh chord. Yeah. So let's see how we can construct dominant seventh chord and then we will implement it in a song for you to know how you can use it. All right. So dominant seventh chord is actually your one chord, your one major chord, and then you add this note to it. This is a seventh flat, the six and a half. So one two three four five six and half plus a half and then you have it. so one plus three plus five plus six and half plus six and half gives your dominant seventh chord or you can say one one, one three five seven and then you flatten the seven get me so one two three four five six seven flatten the seven and then you have a dominant seventh chord so it's just your major chord you flatten the seventh notes of the scale degree. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Flatten the seventh. Flatten the seventh. You have this. 
dominant seventh chord and that's how you play your dominant seventh chord or you can also see it as your one chord and you go backwards a whole step so and then you have your dominant um, seventh chord yeah so you play your one chord and then you go back a whole step I mean your one note sorry you play your one note this is C go back a whole step you have the dominant seventh note and then you add it to the chord then you have the dominant seventh chord yeah, you can do that you can do the same thing for C sharp this is C sharp this is C sharp this note is C sharp so when you go back a full step or two half steps one two two half step or one full step then you have a dominant seventh chord so how do you construct a dominant seventh chord a dominant seventh chord is just your one chord plus the seven flat notes or this it doesn't really matter it's just an inversion you can play this or this you can play the one that you you like it the one that sound good in your ears it's, it's the same thing it's just inversions right and this for example we are in key c here this note is uh, is used very often in Ghanaian worship song. Yeah. So. so whenever you are going to the four in a Ghanaian worship song, they play this very often. So. Yeah, whenever you are going to the four, yeah, I went to the two here, but then whenever you are going to the four, we play this very often. Why do we play this whenever we are going to the four? Yeah, we will uh, we will discuss that in a minute. But first, let's uh, let's form the dominant seven chord in other keys. So, for example, in key G. So this is uh, the G note. You go back a full step. You have your dominant seventh chord yeah so when you go back a full step you have your dominant seventh chord yeah so you can play g and then you add this this is g you add this then you have your dominant seventh chord b flat this is b b flat you add this your dominant seventh chord so your dominant seventh chord is just your root notes you go back a full step and then you have your the, the notes that makes it a dominant seventh chord yeah They are just inversions of what I'm playing. They are, they are just inversions of the dominant seven chord, right? So, for example, in B, you play this dominant seven chord. Yeah. So that's how you construct a dominant seven chord. It's just your one plus three plus five plus your seven flats or six and a half. Yeah. Or you can see it as the first note. You go back a full step and you have it, right? So C dominant seven is this. C sharp dominant seven, D dominant seven, E flat dominant seven, E dominant seven, F dominant seven, F sharp dominant seven, G dominant seven, A flat dominant seven, A dominant seven, B flat dominant seven. And then B dominant seven, and we are back to C uh, dominant seven. So that's all your dominant seventh for the twelve different keys. Yeah. So now that we know how to um, construct a dominant seventh chord, let's play it in a song. A song like um, How Great. Okay. So the normal progression of the song. How great one is a God. Sing with me, huh? Six is our God. And I always sing, huh? Four. How great. Five. That's a normal progression. Is our Sing with me. 
give me a break. I'm not playing anything fancy, just a normal progression. And I'll be saying a great, a great is a guy. I'm going to play the same thing again and then I will try and implement the uh, dominant seven. Okay? So I'm going to play the same thing again and then I will try and implement the dominant seven and then you tell me how it sounds. Okay? How great is a guy. Yeah. Okay, so I played a dominant seventh in the actually over the E and then I went to the A minor. I went to the sixth, sorry. I went to the sixth. Yeah, A minor is the sixth of the C. So I went to the sixth. And before I went to the four, I played. Yeah. So why did I choose to play the E dominant seventh when I was going to the sixth? Okay, so the secret to um to implementing um the dominant seventh chord to your playing is know your scale degree right okay so which dominant seventh do you play over which chord the formula is actually you play the dominant seventh chord of the of the fifth note of the scale degree of your destination chord yeah hmm, okay let me repeat it okay so your destination chord in this case let's pick the six is my destination chord here then which um which dominant seventh chord do i have to play i play the dominant seventh chord of e why of e because e is a fifth skill degree of a minor so i play the dominant seventh chord of the fifth scale degree of my destination chord Right. So, for example, also, for example, uh, if if my destination chord is F, if my destination chord is a four in this case, F is a four of C. So, if my destination chord is a four in this case, then I have to play. So, one, two, three, four, five. C is the fifth scale degree of my destination chord, which is in this case uh, the four, which is in this case the F. So, I will I have to play a C dominant seven, and that resolves to the f right if my destination chord is let me say c sharp then i have to play i play an a flat uh dominant seventh and then it takes me to the it takes me to the um to the c sharp yeah if my destination chord is C sharp minor, then it's the same. Yeah, it's the same A flat uh, A flat dominant seventh, right? So your destination chord, when when you have to play a destination chord and you want to play a passing chord that will lead you to your destination chord, then you play the fifth. Uh, then you play the dominant seventh of the fifth scale degree of your destination chord because that resolves to your to your uh, destination chord right so in this case how great is our god so i was playing so how great is our, our great yeah how great is our god saying that name our great. 
So my destination chord was E, uh, was um, A, A minor, was a six. Then I have to play the E because E is a fifth scale degree of A minor. Yeah. All right. So, so that's how you can use your dominant seventh chord. Yeah. Okay. So let me show you something here. Yeah. When you have to play this, so I had to play this, and that will lead me to my sixth by then as you saw it for the first time i didn't play this i played it sounds more uh, yeah it sounds more interesting instead of playing this you can it leads to your six it's just some voicing that makes your whole playing more like wow but basically you are just playing the dominant seven but then you just lead in with this right Okay, so let me play it again and I will show you something here. Yeah. Alright, okay, so let me show you something else with this song. Holy, holy are you Lord God Almighty. So we are going to use the dominant seventh chord. Yeah, but then we are going to play it in a different way to uh, like with a different voicing to make it more interesting, right? Holy, oh holy, are you Lord God? Yeah, my destination chord was this one. So, which means I played the D dominant seven because D is a fifth scale degree of G. So I play. So instead of playing uh, like holy, holy, are you Lord God? Yeah, Almighty, right? Where there is a land, where there is a land, you are holy, holy, I am God. Okay, so instead of playing the, um, instead of playing the D dominant seven raw like that, like. I played I played this Yeah Or you can also play just the D dominant seven. Da -da 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 -da. Holy, holy, I am a God. Da -da 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 -da. And then you add it to da -da 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 -da. Alright, so we are going to end here. This is the end of today's um, tutorial. 
but let's just summarize all what we learned today so what we learned today is basically the dominant seven chord here and whenever you want to play a chord you can proceed that chord with the dominant seventh chord of the fifth scale degree of that chord meaning when you want to play an f uh, sorry when you, when you want to play a c when you want to play a c you can proceed that with a g dominant seven because g is the fifth scale degree of c so when you play a g dominant seven it takes you to the c for example also when you want to play an f you can play the c dominant seven and that takes you to the f when you want to play let me say an f sharp when you want to play an f sharp you can play the c sharp dominant seven c sharp dominant seven that takes you to the f so whenever you want to play a chord you can just play the dominant seventh of the fifth scale degree of that chord and that takes you to the chord that you want to play yeah so that's basically all what we learned today and i also gave a small tip that for example in key c when you want to go to the six in c you can play the e flat uh sorry you can play the e dominant seven because e is a fifth scale degree of e of uh, of the six of the a minor in c yeah but a way to play to make it more interesting is you play it yeah so that's just a way to to proceed your six when you have to go to an a minor to the six you can just play this instead of playing the um uh, the E dominant 7 roll like that you can do it like this it makes it more interesting and also we also learn that when you want to go to the G in C for example we are in C here and want to go to the G you can play it like this yeah or you can also play or you can also play it like this uh, da, 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 da. yeah da, 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 da. instead of playing the this instead of playing this da, da, can play this or yeah okay so those are actually um different ways to proceed your five or your six it makes it more interesting yeah so thank you for your attention i tried to keep it short though but then yeah <laughs> okay stay tuned for the next lesson